The latest now on the twisted mind of the Orlando shooter, a portrait emerging of a man in conflict with himself, a twice married father who visited gay bars and dating sites while also professing allegiance to Islamic groups that condemn homosexuality. ABC's chief investigative correspondent Brian Ross here with more on that. Good morning, Brian. Well, good morning, George. Omar Mateen led a life of disarray, disappointment, and deceit. A secret life that FBI the agents this morning say could be a key to the investigation of what led to that horrible night in Orlando. Omar Mateen wanted to be a police officer and protect people. Yet he died at the hands of police after taking 49 innocent lives. Mateen told friends how much he loved women. Yet he beat and abused his first wife, Satora. This was a sick person that was really confused. And Mateen told his family how he hated the sight of gays. <laughs> Yet it is now clear he was attracted to gay men and gay nightclubs, including the very place he would target for his suicide attack, the Pulse, where employees and patrons said he was a regular, often seen cheering on the performers in drag. There's actually one of the dancers, too. They said he was one of his regular fans, and they used to see him there in the audience from the stage area. Mateen's ex-wife, Satora, told ABC News that he told her he often frequented nightclubs without saying they were gay clubs. Do I think he was gay? She struggled with my question. I, at this point, I think he might have been. Maybe he wasn't able to be honest about it at all to anybody because of the family and the culture that he's from. Mateen's interest in gay men goes back at least 10 years, according to a former classmate from a 2006 law enforcement training course who did not want his face shown. He asked me if I was gay and because I wasn't out at the time, um, I told him, no, I'm not. And he said, um, if you were gay, you would definitely be my type of guy. Yet somehow Mateen, a Muslim, was drawn to ISIS, which preaches that homosexuality is punishable by death. There's no indication that ISIS had anything to do with this attack other than later praising it. And perhaps the final contradiction to Mateen's life was that he couldn't even decide which terror group he wanted to be part of, claiming he was with Al-Qaeda, Hezbollah, and then ISIS. Three terror groups that are, in fact, bitter rivals.